Yo, what's good YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well today. And guys, today we're going to do another trading video. I know you guys have been showing a tremendous amount of support on the trading videos. So if you continue showing them support, hey, that tells me you guys like them. And that tells me I will keep doing more of them. So in our previous episode, we wanted to go ahead and do profit with Chelsea. And as you guys can see, we indeed made profit with Chelsea, which is amazing news, meaning that trading with Chelsea players is a good thing. If you have the coins, it's a good thing. Very easy way to make profit. But that's the main question a lot of you guys were leaving in the comment section below. You guys were saying, I don't have the coins to mass bid on Oscar. He's already going for 11,000 coins. I don't have the coins to bid on Torres. He's going for 6,000. By the time I bid on two of them, I'm out of coins. So I said, you know what? Let me show you guys this can be done with any club. So over the course of the next week or so, sorry for the screen going black, it'll be back right, there we go, it's back right away. But uh, and over the course of the next week, what we'll do is we'll pick a majority of clubs, we'll pick a, a bunch of different clubs. Today we'll do Milan, and the reason why I picked Milan is I want to show you guys that even if you don't have a lot of coins, this is possible. You can use clubs that just have a lot of beast players for cheap. Milan has great defenders, and they're not that expensive. Specifically, their center backs. The two center backs from Milan, they can go for anywhere from 650 in open bid, and you can sell them for buy it now for 1,000 to about 1,100 coins. If you really want to make sure you make your profit right away, you can even bump that down to 950. So there's two ways you can check the going rate, guys. The first way is you can use ultimateteamtrading.net, and that's you know, I've mentioned that website so many times. It's a wonderful resource. Use it to your advantage. The other thing you can do is do what I do. You just go ahead, search for a player after you pick a club, see what his going rate is, and then figure out the 5% EA tax. So again, pull out your calculator, put in the 5%, Figure out how much you need to sell them for after you buy them, and then list them up. But you have to figure out his going rate first, obviously. We don't want to go ahead and buy someone for 1,100 coins when his going rate is 1,200. You're only going to make like 15 coins after that. You may even lose coins. So uh, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you win an open bid and give yourself a profit mar margin of at least a couple of hundred coins. So that's what you want to do first of all. Next is you want to mass bid on as many of them as possible and see how many you can win and put a buy it now that's realistic. As I mentioned before, if it's too high, you're not going to sell it. You probably won't make that much coins, but you can put it at a, at a point where there's a lot of impatient people on Ultimate Team and you got to take advantage of it. It sounds funny, but it's true. A lot of people are impatient on Ultimate Team. For example, if they see a Mexus up for 1,100 coins and there are no other buy it nows that are cheaper and the next one has a 30 minute uh, remaining time on it and he has to bid on it, they'll be like, you know what, dude, I have the coins. I'm at 100,000 coins. Why am I going to go ahead and just wait 30 minutes? I'm just going to go ahead and buy this one for 1,100. And that's what a lot of Ultimate Team players do and you have to take advantage of it. How many times have you guys said, oh, just forget it. I'm just going to buy this one. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait 15 minutes for this one to sell. I'm just going to buy this next one and you have to take advantage of it and it really does work. This method is very, very good whether you have a lot of coins, whether you don't have a lot of coins, and you guys can see I'm using multiple ranges of prices. Uh, Constant is a very, very good left back in the City I. He's highly used in the City I if they're using a four back formation because there's not that many good options in the City I for left back, and Constant just makes a great great option and as you guys can see because of that even though he's a non-rare gold he's got great stats he goes for a couple of thousand coins so what we're gonna do is even though there's a lot of them going for 300 start price we're gonna bump that price up all the way to 1500 because i see that his going rate is about you know 2000 something coins so I know that if I put it at 1500 that level of competition drops a little bit. And this is something you guys were talking about too, is you guys were telling me, I can't win any of these players. It's just so competitive. When do I trade? When should I trade? You know, what should I do? And I tell you guys, the best way to do it is try to lower your profit margin. So it's okay to make a couple of hundred coins on a card. You know, it's unless... It really depends on how many coins you have. If you don't have a lot of coins, expect to make lower profit, and that's okay. You have to be okay with making a couple of hundred coins per card. It'll add up. The, the slower it adds up, the more and more you get to go ahead and bid on, on more expensive players. Then you can go ahead and try out the El Shirawis, the Balotelli's, etc., etc. So 
don't worry about making a couple of hundred coins per card each time. But there's two things really to lower the competitiveness when you're mass bidding like this. And you guys can see I'm going ahead to a bot day now. And I see a lot of buy it nows that are at 2,700. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to buy it now, put it up for 3,100. There's a lot of them up for 3,100. So overnight, you know, I'm just going to leave it up overnight and I'm bound to sell it and make a couple of hundred coins. It's that simple. So if, you, if you're looking through and you see a couple of them going for like 27, 20, 2,800 coins or any card that's, you know, cheaper than the going rate by quite a bit, by a couple of hundred coins, Throw a buy it now and just list it right back up for the going rate. You know, you'll make your coins back real quick that way. So make sure you do that if you want to avoid competitiveness. But going back to what I said, if you want to avoid competitiveness, there's two things you can do. One, as I mentioned, lower your profit margin. So try to, you know, try to lower it as much as you can and still be effective at trading. You don't want to lower it to the point where it's taking too long to trade. In this video, I've only been trading for 15 minutes and I'm probably going to end up making a couple of thousand coins quite a bit if you don't have a lot of coins, to be honest. The next thing you can do is wait for a perfect time of the day. Usually when I like trading, I like trading at nighttime. I'm in the US, I'm in Chicago, for those of you guys who do not know. And during the nighttime, it's late in Europe. It's, 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 it's morning in Europe, you know, people are sleeping. It's 3, 4 a.m., a lot of people are sleeping. A lot of people are also sleeping in the U.S., so it's win-win for me. You know, it's not a lot of people are on Ultimate Team. People are snoozing, they have work in the morning, et cetera, et cetera. So I just go ahead and do all my trading at nighttime, and I and the you know the competitive le competitiveness level of trading is just so much lower. So I don't have to go ahead and deal with outbidding people and getting in bid wars or anything like that. And as you guys can see right there, I won three, just that quick, that easy. I didn't even have to go in any bid war. I won three of them. So I won Zapata that that easy. He's gonna go ahead and be thrown up for 950 and make a couple of hundred coins on him. That simple. So that's the two things you want to do. The time of day which you trade. If you're in the UK, I suggest doing trading in the morning. And if you're in the US, I suggest trading uh, at nighttime. So that's what I suggest for times of day of when you should trade. So those are two things that are very important. And there's a lot of concepts that can go into trading. Don't think that trading just means mass bidding. You know, there's a lot of things you have to think about. There's a lot of mind games you have to play, to be honest with you guys. There's a lot of mind games you have to play. A lot of things you can uh, you can do to avoid people outbidding you. But it's really that simple, guys. You guys can see it. I'm doing it with Milan. In our next video... We're going to show you guys how much profit we've made with Milan. So uh, that's what I, I think what I'm going to do with this series. I'm going to try to make profit with a bunch of different clubs. I'm going to uh, do profit with Milan, profit with Man City, profit with... Uh, yeah, you guys can start suggesting clubs. Start suggesting clubs we can go ahead and look into. Every club has players you can go ahead and bid on. You know, There's not one club where they just have uh, every player at an expensive rate. So... Um, you know, you can do this with any club. You can do this with a lot of players. It really depends on your coin level and have fun with it, man. Trading should be fun. It should not be something you dread. If you're good at it, I, I thoroughly think you will enjoy trading. So if you do have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to go over them and we will be back hopefully with another trading video later tomorrow for you guys or maybe a race to division one let me know what you guys want to see more than anything a lot of you guys seem to like trading to be honest with you over the gameplay footage um you know I'm, i love playing fifa obviously so uh, the gameplay stuff is something i i really want to continue because i want to play the game um the race to division one is something i've been i've been really enjoying as well got to play with a lot of different teams got to play a lot of different players uh and i think in our next in our next trading video, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about informs, uh, a little bit more about informs. I've covered them quite a bit, but there's a couple of things I want to say what, what you can do before when you know there's an inform coming and if you should really buy that player and make a couple thousand coins on them if you have uh, more coins that is in your club. In any case, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It actually really, really helps me out. Share the video. We're trying to make this uh, thing get going, and you guys are have you guys have really been amazing. I cannot thank you enough. So if you guys want to see daily FIFA content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, what else are you going to do? We'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Later.